If the title of this strangely sounds like a Reliant K song, that's because it is. Despite it being a decade old, it just now inspired me to, uh, to do this article and video. I used to not care about anything besides me. I know, I'm the only one. God really came like second, third, or... I mean, wherever I had time for him, it wasn't all that important. As I've grown older, I've matured in my walk with God and as a human being. And along the way, I've become more in tune with my... emotions. What is wrong with me? Oh my gosh, am I not a man? I mean, after all, the movie Courageous made me tear up. I actually know what the messages are in songs that I'm listening to. Why is this happening to me? Oh, why can't I just be selfish and not care about anything? You know, this completely changes my perspective on Soldier Boy now. To be fair, I think as most people mature, they grow more self-aware of other people and care about other people and care less about themselves. Now, to clarify, obviously not everybody's like that. Some people, maybe half, I really don't know. No one's really done a statistic thing on this. Uh, a lot of people still are all about them. But I mean, look at people who have kids. It completely changed them. It goes from all about me to all about my child. What's best for my child? What can I do for them? They don't even, like, mothers will go without sleep just to make sure that their child is well. I mean, heck, they'll stop smoking, they'll stop partying, they'll do whatever it is best for their child. I've never had a child. I know all the ladies are wondering if I'm single now. So the change really hasn't been as sudden for me. It's been more of a gradual climb. But the real question for us Christians is, is being apathetic acceptable in God's eyes? I mean, can we live the American dream? Can we just, like, have a 9-to-5 job, not really do anything else, you know, go home, play video games, watch TV, retire in Florida, just doing things for us, not caring about others? Apathy causes laziness. I mean, after all, why would you even work hard or try hard if you just don't care? Now, I'm sure you see it from, like, your co-workers or if you're in school, your classmates. If they don't care about something, they show it, they tell you it, most of the time, about how much they don't care, how they don't give zero you-know-whats. If we're being honest, and as I've said before, we always are. I used to be really apathetic in school. Actually, I was. Throughout high school. I really didn't care. I think I got, like, B's and C's. Don't check my report cards. And I still kind of struggle with that now. When I first joined the Navy, uh, I was kind of apathetic. And as I've gotten older, even though I know I'm getting out, I'm not as apathetic as I once was. I'm really not apathetic at all. I actually care, and it's bugging me. So what does the Bible say about apathy or laziness? We all know if God's going to speak to everyone, it's going to be through his word. Now, I know Revelation 3.15 through 16 is commonly brought up when talking about someone who says they're Christian, but their actions don't follow what they say. All right, this is Revelation 3, 15 through 16. This is Jesus talking. I know your works, you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. But wait a second, why does God really care if I'm lazy or apathetic? I'm not doing anything wrong. I mean, after all, I went to church. I said the prayer they told me to. I'm getting saved. I'm going to heaven. What's the issue? I could do a Kenny Chesney song, go down to Mexico, and just kick off my boots and chill. I don't have to do anything. Actually, 2 Timothy 4, 3 through 4, addresses what most of us refer to as the hyper gospel. Basically, get saved, get money, get success, everything's good. Now I know what you're wondering. What's 2 Timothy 4, 3 through 4? You might have paused this video and looked, but if you didn't, lucky you. I'm gonna tell ya. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. That actually kind of reminds me of another Reliant K song, The Truth, where he says, uh, sometimes the hardest thing to believe is the truth. Okay, so you're probably thinking, whatever, dude. Like, 2 Timothy nor Revelation said, I'm going to hell. I mean, God may be upset with me, but I'm not, you know, I'm good. I'm still not going to hell. Who cares? That's the attitude that got me into the apathetic rut. But luckily for us, Matthew 7, 21 through 23 clears this right up. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to risk my salvation off of apathy. Reliant K did nail it when they said being apathetic is a pathetic way to be. But whatever. Half of me is all about apathy, and the other half 
It just doesn't care. So did you like this video? Great, subscribe. Were you like, this video sucked? I guess don't subscribe, that's... Alright. Um, if you want to check out more great content like this, go to www.geeksundergrace.com or just geeksundergrace.com or if you have AOL, put it in Geeks Under Grace, maybe we'll pop up. Oh, that'd be